There's just so much adrenaline and like walking into the cage, all I remember was, oh my God, I have to pee so bad. <laughs> Getting in the cage is probably one of the craziest things I've ever done. It was probably the most empowered I've ever felt. That's right, Carolyn. Once that first bell dings, it's just like kind of like a whirring in your ear. I never thought that I could just go and, and fight someone and live to tell the tale after. From the first time putting some gloves on end of 2013 to actually fighting 2017 is about four years of kind of on and off training and then really started to kick it up. <laughs> My very first fight that actually went through was a mixed martial arts fight. Um, so little six ounce gloves, no shin guards. I fought against this girl who I had actually known, who had come here to train before. Uh, we got matched up and we like texted each other. We're like, oh my God, should we do it? Like, like I don't know, I don't want to fight you, but like also like I want to fight. And we're like, okay, well, screw it. Let's just do it, you know? In the very end of the second round, uh, both my contacts got knocked out. So I was like freaking out on the bench between second and third round. I was like, Devin, I don't know what to do. I can't see. And he's like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to do you want to stop the fight? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, go in there and just do your thing. I'm like, OK. Yeah, girl. I had to get like five stitches, I think, in my eyebrow. My entire face was bruised. Like Devin said that I looked like, like sloth from the Goonies. One of my eyes was like completely bloodshot. I had all the stitches in my face. Like a couple days after the fight, my whole face turned green. Like I was absolutely disgusting and I had never felt more beautiful at the same time.